Hello! Here's the second video of the July painting challenge warm up. So, this is where I paint, which is, I believe, what I had to do today. So, I've got kind of, it's basically just my kitchen table. When I say basically, I mean it is my kitchen table because I'm not a professional painter. I just, you know, paint whenever I feel like it. So, I don't have a specific room or something in my house to paint, I just paint on the kitchen table. So I've I'm be doing a little bit today, I was kind of painting this Tyranid guy here and again. <laughs> Guys, are you excited? There's more no focus. Oh my goodness, it focused! Well that's exciting. Yeah, I as you can see I've just done a bit of green. Um very messily. But it's just a base coat and I'm gonna do a wash on that and do some highlights and soon it shall be like this guy. Um, but until then, so um, I'm going to show you this. So I have my box of stuff, um, which is generally just my kind of my miniatures in here. So you know, I've got a few stuff that I need to still need to fix. That guy's arm fell off. So that's a Space Marine, which I've done um, the base coat wash and um, a few highlights on another one of them, which isn't in here. And I've just got a load of random stuff like the towel that I showed you yesterday, got um, loads of Lohirium, same Lohirium that I showed you yesterday, again I do have others, um, some vestids I still need to finish because I've barely done any of that, um, and just general stuff in there, and then paint um, in a big mess. My friend did my friend who doesn't do anything to do with Warhammer saw the paints and decided to put them in rainbow order, but I messed that up pretty soon. So yeah. Um I do apologise to her. But um yeah, so over here I have my paint brushes. Now I would like to say that each one has a specific purpose and I know exactly what to do with it. But no. About half of them are dead and I just use for glue. Um I do have some proper, I have three proper Citadel paint brushes, um, which I generally use. I also have one which the main reason I use it is because the brush looks really nice because it's blue, though it doesn't stain the things blue, it doesn't paint them blue, it's just a nice blue brush. It's also a good brush, but it's also blue. And I've got my little water thing. I keep my water. I've got these paints here, which are the ones I'm going to use, so I've kind of got them in both of the back row here. These three lovely paints are the um, base coat and wash, and then the rest in front are just highlights and dry brushes. And then over here I have some scenery stuff, so you know, I've got this thing that I made um, for scenery. I've got a tub of grass. Everyone's got a tub of grass, haven't they? I've got some- oh! So that's where my paint went. Hmm, yeah, lovely. Um, I've got some tubs of just stuff. Um, so I've got a few little like kind of bits and bobs of like wrecked buildings that I can add to bases and I've got these little rocks, like tiny rocks, which are really good for bases and then I've got some more just kind of random stuff that you can put on bases. I've got this as well, which is even bigger bits that you can put on bases, and look what I found! It's another Rohirium that hasn't been finished. Great, great. Um, so, yeah, that's what's in there. I'll put that all back. Just give me a second to ch chuck it in, really. Chuck that in there and done. Right, and then um, I've got my kind of painting palette, which I don't use that often. I just kind of, if I don't have a colour, I'll just mix the colours I do have to make it. I'm about to do some like some of the bases for these horses. Um, so I've got those ones, got these two, and then I've got this one here on its cork, which I'm about to do. But I've just finished doing the base on this one, so what I would usually do is have that on a cork, and then this, which is kind of like what I want it to look like in the end after that. And I mean, in front of me. Um, so yeah, that's my setup, which probably I explained in way too much detail for five minutes. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. 
Um, as for drinking and eating, I don't actually drink or eat anything while painting. Because, especially drinking, because as you can see, this is in a cup. Right, and when that's got paint in it, I don't, I really don't want to get it mixed up. Yeah, and as for eating, I, d I don't want to get like, kind of food bits on the paint. And I just generally don't feel the need to eat while painting. And yeah, um, oh for the moment, the next bit, right, I'm going to hopefully put the camera on myself to say this, but I'm going to do like a weekly oath of moment because I don't think I would be able to look far enough ahead in the month to be able to plan that far ahead. I'll just do what I want to do this week and that's it. So if I turn it to... oh gosh, just give me a second to figure this out. Oh, I'm wearing a hat and everything. Oh, it's really... nope. Right. We can do this. We just work together. Right. I feel like I'm being strangled by now. So. Um, I have been wearing a cow hat during this video, um, not getting this strap off. <laughs> right, so, I, Joanna, I'm going to do the base coat of, um, all of the, my Rohirium, not the horses, just the soldiers, um, in the first week of July, I shall have that finished. Yes, I swear. I guess. Ooh, I nearly dropped the camera. Good, good. Right, so... Also, you have to take a picture and put it on Facebook, but the problem is I don't have Facebook, so I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Also, I, I usually have a laptop over there. Because I quite like to watch YouTube videos, War Boss Day. Um, or just listen to music from my laptop. Not my laptop, my parents' laptop. My laptop is with my brother upstairs, um, surprisingly enough. And yeah, so I believe that is it. Goodbye!